with an under gravel filled. People look at me like I'm nuts when I say that. Really and then they try it and they're like, oh. Got the auction going here, but. Neighbors joined me here for the auction in the club meeting. How are you guys liking it? Oh, I can, I'm spending too much money though. Yeah, look at these guys. Well, that's just a couple of the ones you got, right? Yeah, that's two out of. We got a bag full. So they're here buying up all the fish now since they got all these things going. But I'll be sharing with you guys coming up what they're doing over at their house. It's crazy. They went full MTS. Lady LRB and to her collection. Fish room tour time. Hey, you know. All right, hold on. Come over here. Yeah, I'm not moving the fish. All right, no, that's fine. Just come over right here. That's fine. Hug you. All right, so I'm here with my buddy, my neighbor, Connor, and he ended up getting a whole bunch of aquariums after seeing the fish bar. He actually got to come in and look at it. Him and his dad just fell in love with it, and they were like, "This is pretty cool. I think we're going to do the same thing." And then look at you now. What do you got going on? Got anymore? the fever from you. Yeah, yeah. Fish tank fever. I do that to people, it's what I do. It's my job. But it's cool, I like it. I like all these little fishes. I feel like I'm gonna try. Yeah, there you go. All right, man, so what really made you want to get these aquariums? Um, well, other than really liking fish in general, from fishing and fishing tournaments and bass fishing, is when I come over there and see them in the fish barn, it, really did something to me. It's pretty cool. I like all those little fish and shrimp and all that and figured out oh, shit if he can do it I can too. So figured I'd go out and see what, what I could get into. And boy you got right into it. So have you ever kept an aquarium before? Uh, yeah when I was about seven. Yeah? Which of course we had the filters and aerators and all that and took all we could do to keep the goldfish from the corner for a while. And that is that about what you kept in it was just goldfish, yeah, carnival was, goldfish? We just had the little goldfish and there's one real big fat ones. Yeah. But I didn't know that there was such a big variety of fish. Like I walked over there to the fish barn and there's <laughs> old bad gun pets more in there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I mean, I like the fish thing. I like how simplistic it is when you actually know about it. Yeah, and if you notice, he doesn't have any filters in here. He's actually running off of just ambient light, his light bulbs. What kind of light bulbs you got up there? Oh, uh, just regular from dollar store. Yeah. Ain't nothing fancy. Ain't nothing special. Ain't, ain't nothing fancy about none of this. Yeah. And you can see he's growing plants. They've got nice new growth on them too. Top plants, bottom plants. And if you haven't noticed, you can look all the way down the side of it. This is something I did in my fish room. I thought it was really cool. And he's got it all the way down. A lot farther down than I got it. And there you got crips, you got all kinds of cool plants, fish, shrimp, rocks. And this rock, that's from your yard, right? Oh, yeah. Sand? Sand, rocks, and water. Yeah. So, I don't know, well, how much do you think you're into it in this fish uh, room? Money wise? Yeah. Probably. For those curious. Six, seven hundred dollars. Six, seven hundred dollars. Buying all the plants and fish and tanks and wood. And you got how many tanks? I have six boxes of Twenty-one tanks right now. Twenty-one. With water plants and only fifteen with fish. I have 14 more ready for cleaning and getting marinated. So, so 
well. And how many can you hold in here? Because you got a lot of extra space, looks like. I have these racks set up to hold a total of 90, 20 highs. 90, 20 highs, you hear that? That is awesome. That's, that's 30 per row with all the racks. So if I had all the middle row like this filled up, I'd be 30, 60, 90. Dang, you guys hear that? So he's hitting the ground running. So you've, it's been a while since you had a tank or? Oh yeah, I ain't, I ain't had a tank. Like I said, it's about seven or eight years old. Wow. So he wasn't shy about it at all, which I absolutely love this enthusiasm. If you guys know me, he's my kind of people. Like all the tanks full on MTS. <laughs> That's and, awesome. And my biggest driving factor was how how involved with the nature aspect it is it is because like what they like you can see there's nothing man-made other than the tank itself yeah there's no there's no power running to it no filters no aerators no temperature regulators no nothing other than you know just the air conditioner for the whole building mm. but, makes it simple right yeah, so you can enjoy more fun. of it yeah now you get to enjoy so many tanks instead of stressing out about like doing this that and the other with just one fancy yep. tank or even you know half the stuff they try to teach you and say you got to go get and do this and do that and people it ain't, make it ain't nothing to you know, regular belief fish tanks so it's really just connecting with that nature letting her do her job Watching LRB Aquatics. That's, that's a big help. Yeah. <laughs> if you notice here, he doesn't have them all the same. He did have some fun with just putting in the rock, doing little different scapes and whatnot. Oh, you have babies in there. You got babies from the... Always something, man. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now starting your fish room here, what would you say the uh, pros and cons to it have been? Oh, uh, well, the pros is I get to come in here and look at my fish at any time. I get to see them grow. I get to see my plants grow, watch them have babies, and really just each tank do its own thing. The cons is these these fish from what i've heard like at about 75 degrees and that's a little warm for me but other than that i mean i mean cost which ain't bad everything costs something so really ain't many cons that i've found yet which i'm sure it have come but it's pretty much all pros now do you have any favorites in here Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Oh, yeah. That's What's pretty much favorite? all my guppies. Yeah, all your guppies. They're, Big they're guppy pretty, fan. Hair pretty. Yeah. Hair pretty. Which, now, I like these gold dust mollies, too. They're, they're interesting. Yeah. But, but, yeah, them guppies, they hey, hey, something to them. Now, is there any fish that you've seen that you would like to keep that you haven't kept? Or that you plan on keeping in the future? Well... Um, yeah, there is, but I couldn't tell you the name of them. Yeah, big list, huh? Just, I mean, just all, a lot of that stuff you got over there I've seen, which I don't know the name of, shoot, half the stuff I got in here. <laughs> it's all uh, learning and memorizing, but. That's why you still got all these bags up top, too, to yep. keep things labeled. and Because yep, you got you to gotta realize, you guys, he's just starting I mean, most people do one tanks. So you're doing 21, right? Yeah. On Actually, the... Actually, 35, and yeah. this ain't got the other 14 cleaned and got nothing in them yet. So he's the only guy I let come out fishing, and, you know, he's always out there fishing. I ain't seen you fishing much lately. I was fishing today. Were you? Yeah. You've been busy it's in the fish room, though? It's yeah, that's hot. too. I don't blame you there. It's been hot. I don't blame you. If I ain't fishing right at dark, and... I ain't waking up at the break of dawn unless so I gotta go to work. So about the last 30 minutes of the day is all I get now. And I was telling him that he should start a channel. Like he's 
Oh, oh, yeah. All right, all right. So I've been talking to him saying that he should start a channel, man. You've been thinking about it? I have. Yeah? I've been stuck on a name because everybody's got all the good names, but I mean, I've been thinking, trying to round up a camera and round up time and round up a name. And if any of your viewers have a good name in mind, shoot, tell Lucas and tell him to tell me. <laughs> we'll see. See if y'all ain't got no good ideas that I ain't thought of. All right, so what do you guys think? Do you think Connor should start a channel? Let me know in the comments. I think it'll be awesome. He's coming from like a different perspective that I am since he's starting. He's going to be going through a lot of trials and errors, be able to share a lot of things with you guys, but still kind of that natural method, that natural system. You know, I'm not always the best at describing it all or even getting all the videos out for you. I do the best I can. I can't do it all, but... I think it would be really cool if he started a channel. So let me know what you guys think. Would you follow him? Starting from the ground up. And these are good people. These are great neighbors that have neighbors that have your back, willing to help each other. They're always offering their help, vice versa. It's the way it should be. And you know the passion. You can see it in him when he looks at these aquariums and he talks about these aquariums, how he's really into it. And putting it all together and really going gung-ho so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the like and subscribe